you tweeted in August 2020 that Lebredet is a, a first-generation immigrant Britain can be very proud of. Do you still think Well, that? I think we can be proud of the people who have settled in this country with lots of money and have done things with it. So I see no reason to doubt anything I've tweeted there, Kay. You can't, uh, you can't cancel me. <laughs> um, but of course you're asking me because of the recent reporting around Lord Lebedev's uh, peerage. Okay. Yeah. yeah, well... Again, you have to understand that Lebedev um, and uh, our Prime Minister are great friends. They met when Lebedev threw a party and parties are a key feature of our government. Some people have made something about the fact that the Prime Minister met Papa Lebedev after an important NATO meeting and it was some sort of security breach. But again, he was clearly in party mode and that is the Prime Minister's business language, if you will. Sometimes. Um, he may have made some mistakes. Um, but that's the lull of the party. I mean, I don't know if you've heard about uh, Gaddafi's candlelit dinners, but, you know, they were, they, were really, they were really something, apparently. So the point is, Evgeny Lebedev was vetted by a House of Lords nomination. Yeah, but if the security so service today is a security risk, and the Prime Minister keeps pushing and pushing and pushing and saying, no, I want him to be a Lord, surely if our security services, who are the best in the world, say... I don't think so. He may well be a security risk. Surely we should take notice well, okay, of that. Well, you are right that our security uh, services, our national security services are well beating. Um, uh, they are great, uh, but they, they can't stop me from being um, sued. And I'm not in Parliament now and I don't have parliamentary uh, privilege and, and they are a bit um, libel happy, these Russian oligarchs, as is their right, um, as is their right as British passport holders uh, and, you know, I think they should, by, by all means, uh, people should carry on using our, our world-beating courts. In my personal opinion, Abramovich should be sanctioned. Um, if anything, he should be knighted for his services to the legal profession. I mean, this is a man who has poured millions into the bank accounts of our lawyers in an effort to financially cripple um, nosy journalists and, and publishing houses. And is so modest, he hasn't even taken any credit for it.